Okay. I'll start that one again. Okay, so um, it's best to, um, in terms of what jobs are conducive and not conducive for enlightenment, as you're doing spiritual work, cancelling beliefs or whatever, the, doing self-inquiry with the observer, um, you'll find that uh, you'll be reducing your fear uh, around things like you are the body, you need money. Uh, and as you do that, uh, more and more miracles will start occurring. And gradually you'll start to get the intuition that you're able to let certain jobs go. Uh, and some, or sometimes you'll feel called to let a certain job go because you think you require it for survival or you, you're currently attracted to it because you're also ca cancelling your attractions and aversions because attractions and aversions are related to the ego. Like the ego likes the job or doesn't like the job. So as you just cancel that, uh, you know, it's like the meaning of the job starts to disappear. The meaning of money and security and uh, limited life starts to disappear. So then, uh, you know, um, things as your consciousness level shifts up, as the consciousness level shifts up, uh, different jobs may be taken, and then there's transcendence around those, and deleting of belief systems and emotions, and uh, dualistic ideas have been deleted, and then that might transition to another job, and eventually, uh, at another point, you know, there may be no more jobs, you know, especially if you go off into bliss, uh, you know, as many teacher you know so some of the things that can happen is um you go into such a profound state of infinite light and bliss that you're no longer able to speak or function or even be immobilized so all, all those kinds of no job is possible even so but uh while there is identification jobs may occur um and that's fine so um so what are the best jobs for enlightenment well if you're in a job right now I would stick in it, stick, stay in there, because you probably think you, believe, you need it for your survival, unless you don't think you need it for your survival, in which case uh, you may walk away from it and, and, and just do something else, uh, which if that's, the, if that's how um, you're being led, that that's fine. Or if there's fear that you have to stay in that job, then stay in the job and keep uh, you know, forgiving or observing. Uh, until it feels safe enough to leave. If you're not sure, if your ego is giving you a hard time, I'm not sure that I should stay or go or change jobs. Uh, go to a spiritual group or speak to a spiritual mentor and or just pray for a miracle that it be revealed to you, uh, whether you should stay in this job or change jobs or leave. So it just depends where you are. I mean, if you're uh, earlier on in your journey, it may be just staying in the job and doing spiritual work and then changing once you um, You've forgiven and released enough stuff and it seems like all the lessons in that particular job had been done and it will naturally seem like now's the time to move on or a better opportunity will come because you've transcended all the lessons that that job could offer you and you might be in another one another job for a while which will bring up a few other lessons that you need to clear and dissolve and eventually it, it will happen with enlightenment that um, there is no need there to do a job and you may go into states which um, mean that um, either you're not a job, you might become a spiritual teacher and you find that things are just money or whatever is required or food is just, or shelter is just given to you when required and needed without any needing to be being a person or working a job. So I just say uh, with jobs, you know, which is the best one? Well, you're always in, in work. Um, you know, I mean, jobs, as you get more uh, disidentified with the body and the thoughts, obviously the type of jobs you can do would be less. Like if I'm strongly identified with my ego, I could be a stockbroking analyst on spreadsheets all day long. Um, and uh, and that would be, a, that would require a lot of identification with the body and duality. Uh, I thought as I was doing my spiritual work, and I thought I might need to get a job. I thought, well, maybe I could be a, like a, a guard in a gallery or or maybe just a uh, sort of a guard in a cathedral or something just sort of standing there just making sure everything's okay so that I could just be in the witnesser and not have to be a person and get paid a salary so you know the body could get fed uh, but it, there was no need for intellectual stimulation maybe spiritual environments or something so that seemed like a good idea and then eventually um, my own experience is eventually as the um, 
as more and more is released, um, you'll find that the, the universe will take care of you at a certain point, but you have to go through a lot of fear and a lot of limiting beliefs. And then there's greater trust that um, you don't need to operate in the world from, from your ego. There's a greater picture that you can be one with. Okay, so I'll just 